Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Alman. This week I'm going to create the Zach King frame trick. Let's get started. This week I put a poll out on the communications tab and a massive 72% voted for this tutorial. So keep a look out there as I will do videos that people vote for more often. Before doing any editing, you'll need to find an empty frame. Or if you don't have one, just cut a hole out of a piece of paper and film the frame on one side of the screen, then meeting the body, the face, the object or whatever, and then back off to the other side of the frame. Like here, I'm filming my cat. It'll all make sense soon. Let's start by opening After Effects. From here, import your video and create a new comp. First thing we're going to do is track the frame right up until it comes over my cat. I'm going to start from here and track backwards to the start of the video. Go to the track window and click on track motion. If you can't find track in the window, go to windows and select track. On the track window, select track motion and it'll bring you to this new window and the track icon will appear. Click on the track icon and move it over the frame over a sharp piece of object which it can track. However, as you can see here, it doesn't work for me. So After Effects comes in with built-in track software called Mocha. To find this, click on Animation, Track with Mocha in After Effects, and it'll load a new piece of software. From here, it'll load your video and the in and out points of your video. Click on the pen tool and draw around a sharp piece of the footage it can follow. Then click track and wait. Once completed, click on export track data here and it'll bring up a pop-up window. Then make sure you're on transform and click on copy to clipboard and go back to After Effects. From here, I'm going to create a new null object by right clicking new null object. Make sure the timeline is at the beginning of the clip and hit paste or command V. Next, go to the image that you're going to use just before the frame goes over my cat. As we already have the track data, I can see when it drops off. From here, duplicate the layer by clicking command or control plus D. Right click and select time and freeze frame. This freezes the frame and changes the layer into an image. I'm going to cut the length of this image by splitting the layer by hitting Command and Control, Shift and D and it'll split the layer. I'm going to delete the part I don't need. Going back to the beginning of the footage, I'm going to parent this image to the track data. If you can't find this tool, click on Toggle Switch Modes and it should reveal them. From here, we just need to mask out part of the image we don't want to use, using the pen tool at the top. However, I found this really fiddly because you'd have to scale, rotate, position more often. What I did is I moved the image under the video layer, put the video layer on top, masked out the frame and keyframed it using the stopwatch. Then make sure the mask came up as subtract and then went back and positioned, rotated and scaled the image and underneath. Only thing left is to split this video layer and delete the mask from the top layer to make sure it'll reveal the video underneath the image. The last thing I did here was went back onto the video of the mask open the mask and change the feather slightly to 10%. Went onto the image, selected motion blur here and activated it at the top here. And you're done. I've tried to go slower this week, so let me know how I did. I'm on the verge of hitting 10,000 subscribers soon and I appreciate everyone who has subbed, but I think this means a new title sequence change. I was wondering if I should open it up to you guys and have a competition. The best ones would be shown and then everyone voted on them. 
Let me know what you think in the comments. As always, I'll see you guys next week.